starting off, we're going to bring in our rig studio. Um, for the front view, we want standard shading. Let's turn that off. We're going to set our camera so that we have a lot of space to work with. Yeah, I'm just going to hide all of my lights right now in my camera. Let's bring in a sphere. Let's go five, ten. Yeah. That way we can get uh, infinity plane. I want that frozen because I don't want that moving. In properties, you can have uncheck unfrozen, show frozen in gray. Not that it matters anyway, but oh, that's still too big. Uh, five. Sure, whatever. All right, so what we want is for the ball to go bounce, bounce, not that way. We're gonna go bounce, 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 roll. Let's put ball and mode hierarchy effect pivot move that down to the bottom. Uncheck that. Edit poly F four for edge faces. Uh, shoot, that's way more segments than I want. Yeah. Back to edit poly, let's... Four, for polygon mode. Select a strip. And we're going to set the material ID to 1. In material editor, this is our object, or it will be. Um, but I need... Let's actually go to the node slate material editor and find... Called oh, I thought I saw it. Multi sub object. Drag that out. Um, and then two standard materials. One and two. This goes here. This goes, come on, here. Material one is where we put our stripe. So, oh, and then also assign material to selection. Um, so this one, I want to change the color. And you can see it in the viewport. Um, do we want it? I think I want it slightly blue. It'd be a little darker. That looks nice. We're mostly going to be working in front. And with the camera. 
Okay. So you want X form rename role and X form that will rename as Squatch in a minute. Um Move the center of this one down. Switch back to this one. Wire parameters, transform, position, exposition, modified object, roll, gizmo, rotation, Y rotation. Uh, left to right, connect. Now we'll go back to our edit poly and it should roll. Um, this ends up rolling really fast. So you also want to um, divide the exposition by however you however fast you want it to roll. I'm gonna go with like 200 and update. So, oh, that's too slow. Okay. Let's go with 100 and update. Still too slow. 50, update. Okay. 20. Update. It's all about like a lot of it is just trial and error. Um, I suppose it's okay. It's slow, but Yeah, that's better. Okay. So now that we've got that all set up, let's also rename this as switch. Then we'll Save as move this up to the top left corner of the screen, and then we'll move it slightly off. Um, control S. So, auto key. And then hit the plus to set up your initial frame. Oh, one more thing before we actually start um, is the curves. So in Max, Max has an automatic tweening system called Curves. Um, you can actually see it. Um, in this. Um, we don't have any frames set up yet, but let's say just for demonstration purposes, we've got frame 35 and then hit set. No. And move the ball which causes it to tween. So, here's what it looks like. This is what the motion that we're seeing. There's, looks like they're adding an automatic 
easing. So if we set the time lane at zero, it will go from start to stop. But I don't really like working that way because um, Max's tweeting is very... It's not right. I don't really like... I mean, later I will add an automatic tween. But for just initial like setup, I would rather work in steps instead. This one's the step, and that's frame by frame. So if I go to frame 35 and move it, there's no in between. And then later, I can fix that by selecting this and this and add an ease. Oh. Where's my... That one. Okay. So, set tangents to slow, and that adds in that ease that we were talking about earlier, or tangent to auto, and then I can tweak how much easing I want. All right, so I'm just going to save it right here, and um, why don't I do some pose-to-pose -pose animation here. So frame 10, let's say I want it to like drop down and then it goes Boom. Right there. So, there, there. Bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. And then frame 20. We'll... Oh, sorry, that arc. That's not going to work. Um, okay, frame 10. Actually, by frame 7, I want my ball in the scene. Frame 15. We can move the ball down to the floor.
And then we'll finish off the Let's set the timeline to 50. Because we don't really need any extra frames after that. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, so This is just sort of like playing around with timing here. Oh, I'm not getting the roll that I want. Unless... Oh, yeah, it's there, but it's not... It's there, but it's not tweened yet. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's okay. So now we want to go in between, and I am between on twos. Oh, something else is trajectories in the motion tab. You can turn that on, and that can help with, like, your arcs. Oh. See, you can start to see the arc. No. <sighs> Sucks. Can't really see what you're doing. <laughs> 